And if you haven't seen uh, Colab 3, uh, I definitely recommend it. I'm going to throw a link here in the chat. Just kind of obvious, colab.org. This started years ago, and actually was started by people um, working on the KDE PIM stuff way back. And I used to use it years ago, Colab that is, on my server for email, groupware, um, calendaring, the whole bit. Uh, and I always think, oh, I wish they could tell the world what they have because they have such a good thing here, and they just can't seem to manage to spread the news. So I was really happy when, in 2010, Colab Systems was set up to really concentrate on making the world aware of Colab. And my goodness, have they done an amazing job. Um, this version of Colab, uh, it, yeah, it's remarkable. The web UI is really nice. The admin side is gorgeous. The uh, user side is really nice, really modern looking. I would like a little more, you know, HTML 5e. There's some uh, areas where when you, if you switch um, uh, between mail and calendaring, it actually reloads the page and such. But it's definitely in the right direction already. Mobile synchronization is better. They upgraded the op Active Sync um, component. Um, the server itself uh, component saw huge rewrites to allow it to well perform a lot better and scale even more than it did. Um, it has a bunch of new storage formats that it supports again for better performance, and and the co the clients have been have been upgraded. Uh, I mentioned the web administration panel already, and it just seems there's a ton of work put into the Colab three release, and and it just and it seems to work out of the box. What was really neat is if you go to my Colab, I'll drop a link for that as well. You can test it out, try it out. Um, here's a link in the sidebar there to uh, collabsys.com forward slash collab or just mycollab.com. Uh, they're actually giving out accounts and they're going to be hosting collab for people who would like to be using a free software uh, group or server who want access to their data and own, you know, have actual data ownership um, over this. Um, without well having all the modern uh, accoutrements, right, of having a mobile app and having desktop apps. It runs on Windows, Mac, Linux, and it's actually Contact, um, which is the KDE application for that, uh, and a web interface. So you get kind of a full meal deal uh, with everything you'd expect in a groupware, a modern groupware server, and now you don't even have to host it yourself if you don't want to. Ah, another very important thing was they moved to native packages. Up until now, they'd been using open package, which made sense, I think, in the early days for the complexity, and they had a lot of forked versions of, of uh, servers. I think even OpenLDAP was forked at that point. Um, this no longer makes sense. Um, speaking about LDAP, they actually moved um, in this release to the 389 server which is a open, uh, an LDAP implementation free software uh, by Red Hat. So it's really cool to see all of these pieces come together in efforts by groups of companies like Red Hat coming together to create better products in Colab, which then, you know, give us, uh, if you have a Colab-enabled client, gives you better stuff. So that's what I love about free software is how all of this, all these groups, companies, communities, etc., come together to create really good stuff not even without even meaning to at times. I, mean, I doubt the 389 developers went, we need to make a better LDAP server for Colab, right? Um, but that's how it worked out. So that was what I wanted to cover uh, or share with you um, really quickly.